Uh, I just wanted to make this video today. Uh, I just got this Lenovo Ideal Sentra uh, mini PC. So yeah, I just ordered this um, about a few days ago and it came early in the mail. So I just wanted to make this video um, to show you how to actually um, remove the cover and install a hard drive. Because I bought this off of eBay and it was missing a hard drive. But I think the RAM is installed in there. But I made this video also, you know, because um, I went on YouTube looking for videos to see if I could find, you know, how to open this thing. And actually, you know, I watched a few videos where a lot of the users, you know, open this device by removing just the four screws here, you know, right here, right here. But this particular device, you know, it looks like it's the same device. Um, this one is actually different. This one only has three screws to remove, but what really important is that um, there are two screws that are hidden behind the front panel. Let's see if I can show this. Okay, here you go. I actually removed them. You see these little silver, thing, silver things right here, these covers? It was actually two screws behind those covers, and at first I thought they were magnets, but turned out they were um, covers and it was screws behind them. So I could not figure out how to open this thing up because you know all the videos that I watched show, you know, just removing the four screws and it opens right up. But this particular one, I guess, you know, I don't know if it's a different model. It looks identical to the other ones. You actually have to it's, you only have to remove um three screws and this is not even a screw. So you just have to remove this one, this one, and this one. But what's interesting about this one is that um, it had two screws in the front, which I didn't know. So, um, so now it's a little bit more easier to open, but you know, I don't want to mess it up, but uh, I still having trouble trying to open it. So I just want to make this video as I go along. You know, if I mess up, I just mess up because it's my first time opening this device and actually um, having one of these. So I'm just still trying to figure out how to open it up because uh, it's not easy as it seems, you know, from the videos I've seen online. You know, most, they only remove four screws and that was it. And you just pry it apart. But um, this one has actually more screws. So I remove the two front screws here in the panel. And you, um, I noticed that the cover still won't come off. The, I think this is the bottom lid. Uh, opens from the bottom and the lid still won't come off. So... I believe I'm not sure but I think there's two screws here you might have to uh, remove and why I say that is because when I looked at them they were not straight they were kind of one was turned this way and one was screwed the other way so it looks like it's been you know it's been open before but I believe you might have to remove these two screws where the VGA port is in order to remove this panel so I'm gonna see if that's the problem because it should open up, you know, but um, I'm just guessing, you know, it still won't open. And I've been, you know, trying to open this up for the past um, hour. Because I, I want to make sure I don't damage anything. But as you can see, it's a, it takes a little bit of effort to open up. So let's see what I can do this. I'm trying to do this in a camera so you can see. So I'll move this back a little bit. Uh, okay, opens from this. As you can see, I bought this online on eBay. Still has the stickers on it. You know, I'll be uh, right back. Okay, back. See if I could pry this apart. It's kind of hard to do this because the camera is in front of me and the microphone is in front of me. Trying to kind of get some good sound. I'm using a different microphone, so see how it works. Um, so this is a part of the problem that I had. I've tried to open this, and wow, this is really difficult to open compared to the videos that I saw online. You know, it's the same device, but this one opens differently for some reason. Um, there we go. Now it opens up right here and 
as you can see there you go but um again you know you have to make sure when you get one of these if it has the screws in the front and the front panel you have to make sure you remove these too because if you don't you go to damage the machine because they are sitting behind these little um, silver covers but as you can see it still won't open up completely because it seemed like it's I don't know if it's um, some screws right here or something Let's see so what I'm going to do, I don't know if these screws are attached to this cover, but I'm going to try to screw them. Let's see. Because for some reason, maybe so, some reason the cover just won't come off. Yeah, this is really difficult. Um, cut one to remove the cover. I actually bought this because I wanted to use this as a media streaming device to stream um, apps and YouTube. Oh, okay, there we go. And there it was. So that was the problem. So remember, you know, um, if you get one of these, and like I said, there's about two different models. That one is called, um, let's see, Q180 and a Q190. But I noticed that um, people online that actually remove these covers, they just remove four screws and that's it. But this particular model, um, it says it's a 3110. So I don't know if the 3110 model is the same as the 180 or the, the Q180 or the Q190. So you have to uh, pay attention to that. This is a 3110 model and it looks identical to the Q180 and the Q190 looks identical identical but as you can see it opens up differently from those models this one requires more screws to remove but there we are and what's this oh okay they left the screws for the hard drive oh nice okay this wasn't worried about um when i bought this i thought it was missing the hard drive caddy but as you can see it looks like it's made into the device uh, maybe it just screws in right here but that's great so i don't have to um find a caddy to fit this it's already built into it but it looks kind of hard to um, put the screws in here as so i'm looking i can see maybe access one screw but i need one more at least to secure the hard drive and right here but the memory card slot is in the way so maybe it's just a uh, screws i don't know but I'm just going to test this out anyway, so um, making sure nothing is damaged. So it looks really good, it looks really nice. And they left the screw, so that was nice. And this is a 4 gig RAM, a memory, 4 gig stick. And this is your CMOS um, battery, CMOS battery right here. And the fan. The cooling device the cpu underneath okay this must be the okay this is the wireless card it has wi-fi and again you know the reason why i bought this too uh one of the main reasons was that this one has a optical output so basically you can receive digital sound from this device to your receiver so you can hook this up to a stereo receiver or a home theater receiver that has an optical um, output and most if not all home theater receivers have this type of um, output right here take a look see this is a optical output digital for digital sound actually this is um, this output right here would provide you with 5.1 channel sound so you get surround sound just from using this um, this output so which is great and like I said before most um, 5.1 receivers if not all have this output and there's even some stereo receivers as well that has this type of um, digital output so you know again this is really a great device for um, sound because most of these type of devices don't have a um, digital output so this was the main reason for purchasing this device was because of this and it has a uh, HDMI so I could plug this up directly to the TV and I believe I could stream the sound from
from this digital output to my stir receiver and have you know high quality sound and use it as a media device so yeah so now I'm gonna put the hard drive in it and I guess I remove the screws here okay this is nice that they included the screws but try to figure out how okay I guess I have to remove these two screws to remove the caddy I'm just gonna see real quick and I'm gonna use a hard drive that I already have because um, I just wanted to see this thing actually work because I got it on eBay for a great deal and and I think it was being sold as this you know they they made sure that it powered up and that was it but I hooked it up you know even before I put the heart you know I didn't put no hard drive in it, as you can see but I hooked it up and I put a uh, Windows op, you know Windows operating system CD in it and it actually started up like it was going to install like there was a hard drive on here which was interesting um, yeah there was no hard drive in here but when I booted it up I, I put a Windows disk in there just to see you know if the um, DVD drive worked and it did but it like booted up and it went to install Windows you know 7 on it but it said it was no hard drive so that was good to know that it worked so let's see if I remove this screw I think the um, caddy does come off and I'm trying to make this so you can see it because I don't have much room here I'll put this over here and I'm sorry I'm not looking at the camera right now I'm just looking at this the camera is over my head so I can't see it when I'm doing this but let's see this is really you know once you get it open it's really easy fix looks like it so we got these two screws here that's for the hard drive caddy see if it comes out okay wow see seems really tight um, yeah oh I see it's one more and see it's one right here you see it yeah right there okay and if the camera runs out you know uh, I don't know I have about 20 gigs left on my memory card so <laughs> I'm trying to make this quick as possible but if it runs out uh, I have to film two parts of this okay here we go four screws now wow and right now you know I'm putting a smart hard drive it's maybe like 50 gigs or 40 gigs but I just wanted to see if this really work so I wasn't going to buy a hard drive for it until if I know it would work for sure so this is a caddy take a look at it Oops. and it goes in like this try to remember how it goes but pretty nice okay so now I'm going to take the hard drive out of my um, HP Elite book since I'm not using that laptop you know I use the um, HP ProBook 6360B and it's a great laptop and I'm going to make another video on that so right now I'm going to get my um, my Elite book and take the hard drive out of that one okay it's hard to see but let's see if I can have enough room and I love these pro books these elite books and pro books because the cover comes off with just one button so this is a hard drive here uh, see if I can show you this real quick. I'm gonna put it this way see this is a hard drive so I'm gonna see I take this out can't really see from here uh, okay got two screws I'll use this screw and take this one there we go see 
these screws. I don't want to mess with the screws right now. Okay, the screws are at the top, so it's better. You know what? I think I'm gonna use the same screws for them um, for this hard drive. I'm not gonna use the new ones right here that are. You see it in the plastic here. I'll keep that for a new hard drive when I buy one. But again, you know, this is a small hard drive. I just want to see if this works. I'm trying to do this as quickly as possible before it runs out. Okay, I'll put that back later. Okay, now let's see. Well, here we'll see how the hard drive goes. You know, when we like this, yeah, it goes like this. So you just want to put it in here, like this. Look at it. Let's see. Is it focusing? Yeah, there we go. See. So this is like the on top of the hard drive. So it goes bottom goes down into this. So the bottom goes down into the um, black part of the hard drive like this. This way. And it just fits in. So I'll take these two screws and just, you know, I just want just to secure it just a little bit. I don't like I say, I'm going to put another hard drive. But two screws is enough, you know, for this. Uh, okay. okay. There you go. There we go. See. See this one, put this one on the side here. And the operating system I'm putting on this, uh, just Windows 7, like I say. Um, actually, this, this device was made, it's an old device, so it was made for Windows 7. Actually, Windows 7 Premium Home Edition, so that's exactly the disk that I have that I bought years ago from the store so if perfect for it so just want to put it in here and let's say this should just slide in make sure there's no screws or nothing A little bit difficult to put in. <laughs> uh, wow. Kind of hard to do this from this angle, but I'm trying to show it to you so everybody can see this. Um, there we go. That was so bad. There it is. Can you see this? And this is a solid state drive. Like say, see how many gigs is it? Um, 50 gigs. So I probably have about after I start operating system, um, 35 gigs left, or 30 gigs like that. So now I'll just put these screws in. Okay, these are the ones. Then I'm gonna put in all the screws so I won't lose them. C 
see this better. I'm going to put it too tight. I don't want to strip the screws. I'm going to remove it later. See, you put the other screw. If you see, there we go. Right here. Can't really see it from that angle. Really hard to get to these uh, holes with the screws. Let's do it this way. Wow, this is really hard to get into. Uh, put these screws into. can see this one goes right goes right there right here so there we go okay the last screw Okay, last screw will go, see this, right here. There we go, okay. So that's it, four screws. Video's already 20 minutes, but okay, it's... One right here, one right here, one right here, and one right here. So that's four screws. Now it's time to put the cover back on. I'm just looking at it to see, make sure everything's in. And it's just one RAM slot. You only get one RAM slot right here. Four gigs. And I might upgrade it later to eight. Again, this is you know basic um, processor. It's not. Uh, it's not a. Um, Intel iCore. I forgot what processor it is, but it should be enough just to stream videos. Nothing serious, you know, not for playing games with this. So now let's see what do I do next. Okay, I put the cover right here. Making sure everything. Okay, this is the bottom. So I like this. Whoops, <laughs> make sure this come off. Wow. Oh, okay, that's what the inside looks like. Wow. So that's nothing holding these in right here. If I move it, the only thing that's holding this is the two magnets. So this is where the magnets at. They're right here. Like, see, these are the rubber that keeps the, um, the cover on from um, falling off. I'm sorry if you hear noise in the background. That's my uh, neighbors. I guess they're watching a game. Football, I think. So it'll be a 
sorry for the noise. Uh, let's see. This will be the hard part, just trying to get it to fit on. Oh, maybe not. Okay. Maybe not. Oh, that was the easiest part of the <laughs> this machine was actually just putting it on the cover. See if it opens up. And this is really nice. See, and okay, there you go. It opens up like this. And look at this. So you got your SD card, your two USB ports, um, headphone jack, and microphone jack. Show that real quick. So now I'm just going to put this in real quick before my um, time runs out. So the first thing you want to do is basically, I'm going to screw this in first. These screws where the VGA port is at. And put the other one in. There we go. Let's go there. Yeah. Yeah, I just wanted to make this video real quick. I would have waited later till it was like, you know, more quiet, but um I I just wanted to get this thing, you know, going. I just got it in the mail today, so I, I was really excited to um get this thing running and see if it works. See how it works, if it works. So next thing you want to do is basically there's like three cylinders that are rubber that goes in here once you screw the screws in. It's not four like most of them you see online. It's four, but this particular model only has three. This is plastic, so this doesn't screw or nothing. So now I got to do this fine. Oh, also I want to screw this in before I forget. There's two screws that go here. And I always remember that, you know, uh, when you get one of these and take it apart, make sure to see if it has this. Because if it does and you forget, you may, you know, damage your, um, damage the motherboard, actually. Because that's what I almost did. Yeah, I think it's more easier to just screw everything back on and put it together and it's taken apart. And now what you want to do is put these little tiny covers on. Oh my gosh, they're stuck to the thing. These are super small. As you can see, they stick. There we go, that's one. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. That's what it takes to kind of push it in. So you can see this. There we go. A little bit of adhesive on these things, these little stickers, and there you go. Um, so now the last thing to do is put the last three screws with the rubber cylinders, and I am done. Uh, let's see, this is this I'm going to be using Windows 7 Home. That's exactly what this has. Let's see if I can get there. And these are the these are the rubber cylinders right here. There you go. And you get three of these. I found two. I gotta find one more. There's the screws. 
Okay, there we go. Got the third one. So let's go with this again. So that wasn't so bad, you know, after you find out, you know, you find out how to take it apart. There you go. Screws are so tiny. doing this for the first time it seemed like it's difficult but uh, you know once you know what screws to remove it gets um, easier so then you take these rubber cylinders uh, rubber stoppers and you just put them in there like this push them in like this so you just push them down like that and this one And that's it. And this one doesn't have one. Uh, where well, it did have one, but a smaller one, but lost. Well, let's see. But anyways, there it is. There you go. Oops. So you can see it. There you go. This is a really nice machine. Yeah, I mean, it's, it feels very solid, even though you know this whole chassis is made of um, plastic. First, I thought it was aluminum. It looks, you know, has like aluminum finish, paint finish, but it's plastic. But it still looks nice. And look at the back. You have all these ports, which is nice. You know, you had a lock, Kingston lock, um, the power adapter jack, and you have the um, Ethernet, HDMI, and four USB ports, VGA port, and an optical out um, connector. So this is nice and I also want to show this before I end the video now this is the DVD player now this is nice uh, when I bought this I was surprised that it came with this you know and basically it's it's just like the MacBooks where it just you know sucks in the CD you put it in a CD it has more rise and it just pulls the CD right in so it's nice and it works and is a UBS port in the back so you can connect it as like a little USB um, adapter piece that goes on there don't have it right now but I'll make it in the next video so yeah how this works it's just snaps on so I believe this is a DVD player they say they have they come in um either DVD player or blu-ray but I believe this is on DVD but anyway, this just snaps on, and it, it was kind of hard to get this off. I thought I really, um, I thought it screwed on, but it just, see, it just snaps on. And it stays on. This is really hard to pry apart, you know, to take it off once it snaps on. And you see, this is really nice. It's a nice device. There you go. You see. And the back. And you have a little uh, USB adapter that plugs into both of these at the same time and allows the um, DVD player to communicate with the um, PC so that's about it so there you go well, that's how you upgrade the hard drive in this type of device and I can't wait to um, you know boot it up and see